This is Wilson Morales from Black Women TV talking to Tiffany Ford, producer and creator, co-creator of Jessica's Big Little World. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. I am Good. Tiffany. Hi, Wilson. So, you know, now you're you're in charge now, you know, after years doing a lot with the other show. Um, how did this come about? You know, was it wait, was it always meant to be a spin-off? Or did you just go to the producers and go, I think I can run this one? <laughs> um well uh like you said I was on Craig for quite a long time I was with the show um from the start uh around 2020 I think there was a point where um there was talks of doing a Jessica spinoff um apart from me but because I had stayed with um Jessica from the beginning of the show uh, I had developed quite a lot of Jessica's voice. I had um, put a lot of thought and um, just general like uh, background into who she was and what she was into, um, she, her being into small uncle, uh, building her personality a little bit that when the opportunity for the spinoff came about, I had already been supervising directing on Craig that they asked me to come on and head the spinoff with, uh, with the creators, Matt and Ben. Mm -hmm. mentally are you were you prepared for this hi <laughs> I think I was ready in my bones and I think my heart and my head had to kind of like get into gear a little bit because it was such a big jump but it's been a blast I was um I, I found that this was where I wanted to be and I was in a, a really great team to do this for the first time it was it was awesome is it easier or challenging letting go of there were some of the responsibilities you had on craig knowing you have a bigger responsibility now um it was i think a mm, i don't know if it was easier it was um there are a lot of responsibilities on craig that i miss some of the responsibilities i guess uh that I, I don't know if it's a responsibility rather than more like something I was used to. I I became very attached to the team on Craig. I attached to those people. I got attached to the stories that we were telling and the um just the general like uh structure of our shows. That when I went on to Jessica, I found that I was um yeah, missing missing the team a lot on Craig. But then on Jessica, we built uh another team with some Craig folks we had some folks from Craig our art director Benjamin Anders Nick Wynn our design lead um Santino Loscano um our BD designer uh we we had and then of course Matt and Ben and then our supervising director on Jessica was Deshaun Mahone superstar um so while I did miss those folks on Craig some of those really wonderful people came on to Jessica to do it with me so Yes, I, there were some responsibilities that I missed, but also gained a lot of really cool stuff in Jessica. Now, what are we getting from Jessica now as she grows up that's different from the last show that if there's a fan base watching both, you know, are they going to notice an evolution or something totally different? Which is kind of weird I think to say. if you're... Yeah, no, I follow. I, I think if you enjoy Jessica on Craig, you will enjoy Jessica on Jessica's Big Little World. Um, Jessica on uh, Craig is Jessica's, uh, sorry, Jessica on Craig is, um, you know, his little sister. She's um, always tagging along with him at the creek. She alludes to her life outside of the creek, but we don't really get to see it. Um, on the Jessica show, we get to see where Jessica's mind is at, like what has been informing all of these like really funny quirks about her. Um, on Craig, you know, she is the little sister. On Jessica, big, on Jessica's big little world, we see her journey to be more of that big kid that Craig is. She would like to be where Craig is at. She would also like to go to the creek on her own. <laughs> but on the Jessica show, um, she still needs the help of her parents. She needs the help of her brothers. She's, um, you know, really on her journey to hopefully have her own big solo adventure. But right now, this is our story about um, these steps that you take to get to um, that big kid moment.
For those who are going to get into it because it's now premiering now, uh, what's the message behind it? You know, you, people are, there's so much TV now. There's so many products, projects and product that's out there now and a gazillion streaming channels. You know, so people just, the word channel surf is gone. It's like now you just got to hear about it because you're not just going to be flipping around in the channels and seeing this, you know? Someone's got to mm -hmm. tell you about the show. At least that's the way I see it. So what's the angle in terms of getting people to watch this if they have not seen Craig? Jessica, I think, is a show for little ones. This is a preschool show to encourage little ones to keep trying. Jessica is not somebody that succeeds the first time. She's All of her stories are ones where she's um, faced with a challenge that is not challenging at all for the rest of us, but it is challenging for her. She's not done this before, and we're going to watch her um, trial and error, and hopefully, uh, as you watch this, we can feel... Um, the sense of kindness that Jessica has for herself as she's trying these new things. Hopefully we can exercise that kindness for our own selves and others and have that empathy that it's okay if it doesn't work out. We're all kind of doing this together. And some of our challenges are little and some of our challenges are big, but they're all challenges and everybody has to keep trying. And that, that is the core of, of Jessica, that she is resilient and you are also resilient. How, how long is the show? How many episodes are are there for season one? Uh, we have 20 episodes. Each episode is 11 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's good. So what goes into the episodes? Obviously, with, with the writers, knowing you're you know, sending it out to preschools, and I'm sure either the parents are going to be watching it with them or they're going to let them leave them alone. <laughs> you know, so what goes into the episodes in terms of like, is it something to like, okay, this is, you know, are there consultants saying, okay, this is what my kid would want to hear and learn, you know, leading up to the next episode, or are each episode different from the other? Like, there's no continuation? Oh, I see. Just, oh, yes. Um, well, we hope that, uh, we, we do hope that parents, can, the little ones and their families and parents watch together. We do hope that everybody can enjoy the episode that there's something for everybody if you are again a fan of craig you'll find more of what you like in jessica and if you feel like you're a little too young for craig this is a good pace that could maybe like launch you into a bigger uh maybe like faster pace show um and uh yeah i think that the lessons that we have are a little bit more catered to little ones uh lessons like um patience with yourself, lessons like uh, how to take care of yourself, pay, uh, lessons like asking for help, um, being vocal. We try to be very straightforward or we try to be very clear about what the takeaway would be. And we did work with um, a really wonderful team of educational consultants who helped us understand how we could best tell our stories. And um, we are... Uh, like an empathy based show. So all of our stories are also very narrative. Um, they just follow a general um, like three act structure. Uh, we're hoping that when you watch our show, you're just sort of enjoying the story that you're watching. And then you have a takeaway after that feels really wholesome and, and good. Now, going back a bit, you've been doing this and other shows for a long time. I what, where was the inspiration to get into animation? Oh gosh, <laughs> it's a big question. let's get to let's get the short story because see, like, we're like... <laughs> I know. Um, I, I I'm so sorry. I'm not sure if my connection is bad here at the office. Jennifer, um, are we okay connection wise? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry. I, I cut off really hard uh, just then. But um, to answer your question, I got into animation um, just like so many others. I loved to draw when I was a kid. I really loved making stories, telling stories. I loved listening to stories. Um, I really enjoy so much hearing about other people's stories and hearing about what people laughed about or something big that had happened. And when I was a kid, I would always go back and make comics out of what I'd heard or what I'd seen myself or what I experienced. I didn't know if I was going to be an animator. I hoped, 
But when I got the chance to do it, I went all in and I'm very thankful to my parents for supporting me because it was a, a, a leap of faith for them, for sure. And I'm happy that it worked out. So when you're not handling too many uh, gigs on one show, you know, how do you stay humble? Like, where, what can you do oh outside <laughs> of the show to, to be free? Um, you know, because you're, you're now a showrunner, so you have a lot more responsibility. But when it's all said and done and, you know, you're out of the office, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, certainly like to relax. <laughs> Um, I do like to unplug. I have a lot of hobbies that I am very, very um, dedicated to. And I, I hold a sacred space for my time for those things that are not related to my job. Um, I have a very uh, mindful, uh, mindful time with my family. And um, yeah, these are things that I protect very much. These are my, this is my sacred space. And I, I do think it is important for myself uh, to have, and I'm sure others feel the same, that uh, to have the space that is theirs, ours, sacred and important um, to be able to continue creating things. Um, it's just something I need personally to feed my creativity. But in the meantime, we've got Jessica Biggs' little world to promote. Congratulations on this. Congratulations Thank on you. your gig and then obviously the title. You know, we, we hope to see, you know, it's 20 episodes. It's a long run, you know, but hey, we, let's get more seasons out of this down the roads and be big and better things for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Have yourself a great day. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. <laughs>